Hi, I'm Jessica Patterson of Spinning Shadows Fiber Arts, and welcome. Um, today I'm going to show you a spinning with the main braid from my Edgewood Garden Studio Bat Bet Kit. Um, I showed you probably sometime before Christmas, I got the Bat Bet Kit in as a surprise from Edgewood Garden Studio to review. Um, I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. And I've just now gotten around to starting to spin that cute little one ounce main braid. And um, I just want to show you, I just love the way they dyed it. It's this beautiful, almost um, goldenrod. Uh, it's gold and greens with little touches of purple in there. Let's see if I can find it. Right here. This is just, it's a little a piece of fiber that has been dyed and then the back kit bit was built uh, was built around it so it's just lovely look at these strikes of gold and you can see the green all throughout it um, and just random purple and this is going to make such a beautiful thread for me because it's mixed with silk and I love spinning fibers that are a silk mix um, you can see, I don't know if you can see the shiny there, that's the silk, the silk pieces. So anyway, this is just a joy to spin with a medieval spindle. I've got here um, my distaff, which is just a uh, dowel with, that's been painted and has some end caps on it. And I've wrapped, it's about a fourth of an ounce of fiber around it pretty loosely and I'm using a Hershey fiber um, spindle I believe this may be cherry and a stone whorl um, this is sort of like a little cauldron shaped whorl with a little wool jammed in there to keep it on tight and I spun you know a goodly length of thread on it and uh, I've just really been enjoying this. I, this is my favorite kind of spinning. So, one of the things I love about um, spinning with silk is it is very easy to make fine thread with. And, uh, so yeah, having this to spin with is just fun. I can't wait to see how many yards this ends up being once I'm finished. Probably a ridiculous amount. When it comes to plying, it seems to stretch on forever when I do spins like this, but it's always very satisfying in the end. Um, but you can see on the spindle, um, I don't know if I have a whole lot of purple in there, but you can see a lot of the gold and green in there. Um, maybe some bits of purple. It's just, you know, this is just a little bit of the fourth of... Um, a fiber um, that has been stretched out into who knows how many yards and so I may not have actually gotten to a section of purple yet I really don't know um, but yeah this is just a joy to spin with yeah when my spindle behaves itself there we go Yeah, it looks like I'm working on a section of golden green right there. So, and I'm using this distiff just to keep the fiber up out of my way. And it helps when doing threads like this with a medieval spindle. And this is thread. This is, um, if you can see it up against my fingernail there, that's... Um, even plied, that's not going to be very thick at all. So this would be perfect for lace knitting, um, lace weight weaving, which I love to do, or even embroidery or sewing. So, and it's pretty strong too. Um, I've have full confidence in this kind of thread that it it hold up to pretty much anything. But anyway, it's also fun to make um, ribbon with. I use some pink spun in this method to make a really beautiful ribbon and um, that turned out that turned out lovely 
someday I will have to show you guys that. I actually, that reminds me, I meant to, to show the finished ribbon and I haven't, so that will have to be done. Oh, the random things you remember while working on other stuff. So anyway, that is the fiber from my Bat Bit kit from Edgewood Garden Studio. I'll leave a link in the description below. I believe they only sell the Bat Bit kits on Etsy. So I will leave a link to their Etsy. Um, they sell hand dyed fibers and also dyed yarns and update their Etsy pretty often. And they also have a website, which they have yarns and fibers on as well. So I'll leave a link, in the, link to that in the description below the Etsy link. So thank you for watching. What do you think? Um, would you like a kit like this? I certainly would look forward to buying another one in the future when I have the funds free. And um, I can't wait to show you the finished yarn. Perhaps I'll um, even show winding uh, ball and uh, spinning. We'll see how that all works out. This will probably take me a while to spin since this is my occasional spin. But anyway, let me know what you think in the, in the comments below. Hit that like button, hit subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day with lots of spinning.